they've announced the live action cast for Super, yes, for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Which, first of all, how dare you do this to Bob Hopkins? Even the, Bob Hopkins is rolling in his grave right now. But anyways, Mario. So, yes, that unopened one. We have two copies of this because... Reasons. Not because we love it that much. <laughs> but it is fantastic but and wonderful it's, and terrible. It's it's what? Yeah. But, but also, I love John Leguizamo. Oh, yeah. So. So, yeah. So, here we go. The official cast list of the Illumination animated I only know about two, so Super I'm, I'm Mario Brothers movie. First of all, play Mario. Chris Pratt. No, no, I no, love Chris no. Pratt, and it, it, it doesn't work. It's though. not. It's not even about ethnicity. I mean, I don't know what it's, his ethnicity uh, is, but my impression is he's not Italian. But not even about ethnicity. Yeah. He does not fit the character. Yeah, it's. I love Chris Pratt. They're using him to pander to non fans, is my assumption. It's not. It does not work, though. I mean, it's like. I mean, had we still not got him, him as like action star Chris Pratt? Now, but then you, and then we have like Lego Movie Chris Pratt. It's just like Jason Momoa. That would make a lot more sense than Chris Pratt. Jason Momoa. If we were doing live action, that would make more sense. Oh, yeah. But it's just, it just doesn't fit right. I mean, if they're trying to lean into like the uh, Mario being a little bit of like the helpless person like if they want to play him like uh emmett from lego movie then maybe i could see that a little bit oh wow what? oh my gosh are you okay is that on camera that is not I, it's not on camera what is happening are you okay marty i think she's she'll be okay <laughs> i don't know what just happened oh my gosh Wait, wow somehow marty was getting up to the top spot of the cat oh, tree dear. And I don't know what happened, but I look over and she's like hanging underneath it, trying to like lift up. <laughs> like she fell. I don't know, but she's. Fine. I would say in that situation, The Rock would be Bowser. If we're going with that way, I mean, mm -hmm. I just. Do I the think rock. you're a little obsessed with The Rock there. The Rock is a national treasure. But are are we talking about voices? Yeah. Or well, okay. A live action. So if we were doing the it next that way? person, we got Anna Taylor Joy. I don't know who that is. I forget. Okay. I will look at. Oh, is that, is that uh Queen's Gambit? I think so. The girl with the crazy big eyes. Yes, that's Queen's Gambit. Okay, that's Queen's Gambit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. She's also in the New Mutants movie. Oh, which who I did she do badly. in, um, who did oh, she? Oh, she, she was, um, in one of the girls in which, Dark Crystal. Which, which, uh, yeah, as Peach, which, Brea. Yeah. Okay. Now that I can see, that I can see. Yeah, I mean, I'm that, okay with that. That makes sense. Chris She's, Pratt. She is like one of those up and coming big deals. Chris Pratt does not make sense. I mean, no, Chris it's Pratt just, feels very much as just a pander. It's just that pandering thing. It's just. Eh. I like how they chose a picture of her in a pink dress. It's just. I that. don't understand. I mean, I don't know how much I can. How much more I could say about this other than that? I mean, it's. I would have said, you know, who who else would you do? Like, honestly? I mean, I can't imagine Chris Pratt trying to do the Italian any portion of it without it just sounding dumb. But I mean, if you're going for the actual Mario voice, you could have just cast like the current the, voice actor. Yes. So apparently, he's going to be involved with it. With some cameos, well, so most likely would. we're going to get him as Waluigi. Yeah, I just I probably. Don't... Anyways, continuing with the rest of the cast, I, the don't rest even, of the... I can't even think of Italian actors. The rest of the cast actually sounds really good. <gasps> Luigi will be played by none other but than Charlie Day. Yes, perfect. That's a great cast. Okay, let me think. That... Charlie Day with Chris Pratt. 
He did it before in Lego Movie. I. I, I know, mean, but I don't know if the chemistry for these would characters. Work. I don't feel See, it. That's I don't thing. feel it. It's it's like Charlie Day absolutely. Charlie would, Day. I would even say Charlie Day Excellent. as Mario would make sense. Yes, that like have reverse Rob, it. No, get Rob McElhaney. <laughs> Give Rob McElhaney <laughs> of the Always Sunny fame as Mario. That yes. that's that's my replacement. That makes sense. Or get Danny DeVito as Mario. Mm. Danny DeVito is Brock Look, Bowser. Oh my gosh, we could just cast this movie with the entire Joe, Sun yes, Always Sunny exactly. cast. <laughs> yes. And Anyways. what's his face could be Toad. Yes. Okay. Continuing with the rest of the cast, we've got Jack Black as Bowser. That is actually really good. I, I mean, mean I, that, I, that's going to go for some look, good comedy. Basically, here's the thing Jack Black fits for, he's very versatile. Jack Black is Jack Black has range, range versatility. Like you always notice his voice, but like he character he do wise, care, he has range. But you know he could, you can. But I mean, he always delivers. He can even play suave, not not like suave, like ladies' men suave, mm -hmm. but like suave. I want to be your friend and potentially date you, romantic movie guy. Also, he was really good in the Polka King. Like, yeah, that was a good movie, but the holiday, the, like, mm. I would never, like, okay, I would never call Jack Black sexy, but I would never look at Jack Black as a, a potential love interest. Mm. But in holiday, that man, like, wow, I like this. This this is a good Jack Black. He's got he's got the charisma that he can not only del not deliver it in just physical comedy, but in vocal com vocally wise, as a voice actor. He is a solid choice. Mm -hmm. He's he, like, basically, that's that's solid. OK, next, as Toad, you got Michael Keegan K. OK, I see that. Ke no, Keegan Michael Key. That I can see. He's got a lot of names there. <laughs> yes. I, I definitely see that. Full range. That's great. Great casting there. Okay, Seth Rogen apparently is Donkey Kong. Interesting. I mean, I'm not against it, but it's interesting. Just, it's a choice. I don't really. It's picture a choice. Donkey Kong as being verbal. I mean, Donkey Kong. Not really much of a. I think he's more. I don't think of, because you know Seth Rogen is still like he has that range a little bit of range, but he's more. I mean, I think he's been typecast as a stoner, though. A lot. Oh, yeah, no. A lot. Well, so there's a reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So we are, but also we got some other ones. Uh, Fred Armiston as Cranky Kong. Yes. Not, not, not like my ideal casting, but, but I want to see this. No, I do want to see he, this. He makes sense. Like, I want to see this. That makes sense. Like, if I have to suffer. Through Chris Pratt. <laughs> That's not suffering. It's, That's not going to be suffering. He's going to do a good job. Look, it just doesn't make sense. He just has to do as good as a job as he did in the Lego movie. As he did. like No, we know we know he can do a good job. Yeah. I, I have it's no just, doubt that it's going to be a good movie. He's going to do a great job as Mario. It just doesn't make it sense. Just does, it just does No. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Michael Richardson as Kamek. And Sebastian Maniscalco as Spike. I don't know who that is. I mean, but here's also the here's also the main thing. It's like we're just we're just seeing here and like what are these voice actors are gonna be like that? We don't have any footage of the game. So basically this is Nintendo has created the infamous speculation loop right now. It's like what's gonna happen? What is gonna be the thing that's gonna set this up? Okay, this movie can go three ways. First way. It can go the generally actually heartwarming route. It's like, okay, this is kind of clever. You know, it could go the route of the Lego movie. A little, even though it's an advertisement, it's got a little bit of heart to it. It can go definitely mediocre, like sp specifically how we, what happened with like Space Jam, the new legacy or 
dare I say, the Emoji Movie, which was also... No, that was Sony Pictures. We but, haven't seen the Emoji pic- Movie, so... For good reasons, probably. But, you, but you, also... You can't really complain or describe it, use it as a descriptor when we haven't seen it. But I can use the new Space Jam Movie. Yes. As a look. Like, it, I could see it going to, like... The we more, prejudged the emoji the safe, movie and just the avoided it. Safe, mediocre route. It's like, yeah, okay, you know, it's they they it's basically a C movie. We'd watch it once and forget about it for some until they announce a sequel. And then she grew my Miyamoto says, like, okay, we're not gonna do this again. We're not Honestly, gonna do this. Again. I say let's let's do another live action one. Or yeah, I'd go I, for I that. would do that. Or it could be so incredibly bad, so it could go the route, it becomes a cult classic down the line. This has a potential of having a little bit of heart with it. Not like super heartfelt, emotionally you like, will cry at the end of this. Like Wreck-It Ralph. Yes. Wreck-It Ralph heart. I would see it, it can have that level. But not that much further because a well there you go yes if there's who you could have cast as Mario I'm glitching on his name oh my gosh ah oh, why did it but him yes John C Riley that yeah. would have been John C Riley would be a great why Mario why didn't you do John C Riley as Mario I would love John C Riley and Charlie Day together that would be fascinating that, I could see that chemistry that would make sense that would be some good chemistry that was a missed that, mark that you <laughs> but I mean I can also see oh where people gosh. would be like yeah well you're just trying to rip off wreck it ralph by casting john c Riley. Like, i could and see that the but problem with that is he because, makes sense for the role because wreck it ralph had that heart of that movie but john c Riley has i would say the tonality for and mario he does have that without tone. going specifically for the italian he, he has the tonality he has the he has the capability he has that you know earnestness chris pratt just feels like Hey, what's going on? And like, I I know and, John C. Riley you know, can do good heart because he is um in uh Chicago. Yeah, I can't think what his name is in Chicago, but I but mean, he sings Mr. Mr. Cellophane. Yes. I, that mm. is one of my favorite songs from Chicago, just because of how he does it. He does it so well. Like, you feel bad for him. He's just this big kind of dumb lug. I mean, he's smarter than he's given credit for, but he's just kind of a big dumb lug that, you know, gets run all over by his wife. And he he does it really well. I enjoy I was not a John C. Riley fan prior to Chicago. But because of Chicago, I really like it.